Attempt- they actually do go to heaven. Yeah. That is crazy. They will attempt to stun or cause massive blood loss with attacking your face. Oh, Isn't that crazy? God, that is insane. They've also been known for people who sleep outside, like camping, yeah. yep. to go up and actually get their like like their, their abdomen and chest, get their clothes in there. Yeah, yeah. How, how I, you know? I read that, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I know, right? Right, yeah. I, was I mean, like, you think of porcupines as these little cute things that, you know, you, you're thinking it's like a pine needle or something. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. Those things are nasty. They are nasty. And then, and then when they go in, they get stuck because they're, 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 they kind of open up these things to where it's like a razor blade when you pull yeah. it out. Yeah, it's like a barb almost at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and when you go pull out, it makes more damage. Uh, but it, it usually won't, it's not aggressive, but don't threaten it because you will be sorry. Um, that's crazy. Porcupines. I always, yeah, I, I, you know, like I said, you, you think of porcupine, you're thinking like these little cartoons. Like, yeah. yeah. To me, yeah. to me, like, like, like ruined the whole you know, those are animals, these are people thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but they had all these little animals, and they're supposed to be cute, and people think they are, and they'll walk up to them and go, oh, how cute. It's like, no. No, Everybody no. animal that will hurt you. Yeah, oh, definitely. Uh-huh. Uh, they can't, um, they they usually run away from humans, but sometimes they won't. If you're going to threaten them, he's going to fight back. Uh, the result can be painful and very infectious. So, um, you don't want, don't, don't, just don't mess with them. Leave them alone. They apparently have a very good memory, which is Oh, go for, really? Wow. Yeah, have, like, some really crazy good memory. (coughs) Wow. Go figure. I would have never thought that. Can you imagine that? It's like, one day you're kicking dirt out and, like, yeah, you go back to the same spot before we said, the person is like, I remember you. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I'm going to get you now. Oh, that's creepy, kind of. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely have a crazy good memory. That's a, wow. Who would have thought? Wow. Uh, yeah, the porcupine yeah. quills are made of thick scales, and they're barbed. So they, um, it's, of course, not painful for him, but... Um, yeah. The barbed quills will be very difficult to remove. Um, but I don't understand how it can't be painful for them. Aren't these things attached to them? It, they can, I, I, I don't know. Um, Does it get stuck like stairs? Or? Yeah, it's, it's, the process is not painful for the porcupine. Huh. Because it'll eventually regrow them. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Oh, uh, it's kind of like hair. Yeah. Wow. Be careful hiking at night, because that's when they're out. They're nocturnal. And uh, be careful if you're hiking at night or in the woods somewhere, but be careful. Um, and North American porcupines can climb trees. Uh, yep. Yes. And that's why the campers were, that's why the campers had gotten hit by the quills. Because they're sleeping outside. I guess the porcupines are coming around, sniffing around, and they mm. moved or something, and bam. Yeah. Scared them. Wow. Yeah. It'll swing its uh, tail towards you, towards a potential attacker. Ooh. But they're, mm. did you know they're generally nearsighted, though? Really? Yep. Yep. They're generally nearsighted and slow moving, so they won't likely respond by launching a vicious attack. But apparently, they did that night with those campers. Wow. Yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's, that's nuts. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You can, <laughs> yeah, no, don't do it. Yeah, and you better have pliers in your kit. So, there you go. There, there is one animal in this, I don't even know if you consider an animal or not, some people do, some people don't, that I want to really discuss because this is a huge problem, especially in the southern states. Okay, what the is killer, killer bees. Oh, yes, yes. Very true. Didn't they... The um, killer bees are like... And I, I used to live in Corpus Christi, and we, we had them there. Oh. 
Yeah. Weren't they, they brought they over? Huh? Weren't they brought over from somewhere? It's in yeah, Af I it. Africa, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, and they, they, they mixed with our honeybees and they yeah. started to kill them off. But they're so aggressive. Like, some people just start their lawnmowers and they get attacked. Ooh. Because there's a nest nearby. Now, I, I can't remember if we were out in the, I can't remember what was it, the, the flea market that day? I think it was the flea market. And I see, like, these, these weird shadows, like, on the ground. I look up and there's, like, this whole... Oh. Just, I don't even report of bees like flying over us. I'm just like, oh my oh, god. Oh well. Oh, here you go. Uh, did you know that uh, the killer bee? It's a bee created in a laboratory in Brazil by mixing uh, the honey bee with the African bee. Way to go, guys! Right. Oh my. Way to go. Oh my god. Figured it would be some evil scientist somewhere that did it. Well, they figured it'd create more honey. <laughs> they created a monster, you dummies. Way to go. Yeah, because they travel all the way up. They, they've got them in the southern state. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's very true. Oh, I can't even imagine seeing those. And did they were by you? You saw them? Ooh. Well, well I, I don't know if they were the killer bees or not. I just know that we seem like the old like these little... First, I thought it was like bugs crawling on the ground. What is that? And I know it figured out it was it was shadows from above. I wow. looked up and there's like this I mean just massive horde of bees flying over us. I don't know what, what you call a bunch of bees. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, what do you call yeah. a bunch of bees? Bunch of bees. I don't know. I don't know. But they were all and I mean I had never seen bees travel together like that. Like a whole bunch, yeah. like an yeah. army. Yeah. Yeah, ooh. They were looking for victims. Ooh, that's that's scary. They were looking for victims or something annoyed them, or maybe they had to change hives. I don't know. Wow. I really. But wow. I know, like, down there, the, you know, at least once or twice a year, there would be something on the news about somebody being attacked by bees. Wow. Yep. Yeah, way to go. They are, the, um, what happened was, um, Due to an experiment that went wrong, no kidding. Way to go! You, oh, I can't. Oh my God! And that was back in the fifties, but now they've migrated here. Wow. Um. That's that's bizarre. Oops, that was an oops. Wow. Yeah, those big oops. Wow. But that's, but that's the thing. They create all these weird things. Yeah. You know, like light disease and stuff like that. You yeah. Know? And this one got they away from them. Way to go, guys. They make ticks with like diseases and they end up on people, you know. Yeah, yeah. Crossbreed. God knows what else they crossbred, you know. Makes you wonder. Yeah. They're extremely hot-tempered, ultra-defensive, and super-sensitive. Great. Yes. Yep, like if you're walking near, they'll tell you, like, if you're walking, you see, like, a high, just, just back off. Don't even keep going. They wow. will attack you. And, uh, and they're like, they, they say, like, the stingers put off the signal. Yeah, that's like, weird. Like, if the stingers you, it puts off the signal, and the rest will attack. Wow. Ooh. It's like sonar, or, uh, like a, uh, like a radio frequency or something. That's weird. Yeah, that's how they radio to, for all of them to start attacking you. Wow. Yeah, but there's some people who ran their lawnmowers that got attacked. People oh, who walked by who got attacked. Ew, jeez. Wow. That's insane. Why would you even... Oh, God. And that got away from them. Way to go, guys. Um... If you find any hives, they, they suggest having somebody, a professional come and get them so it can be controlled. Yeah. Wow. Well, what they do, I've actually watched that process before. There uh -huh. was a neighbor lady three houses down that like, I guess I invested in her house. Oh. And what they do is they come and they freeze them. Oh. They, they, do, they put like this stuff in the wall. I guess it's like, I don't know what the hell it is, dry ice or something. And they freeze the bees and then they vacuum them up. Wow. So they can, wow, yeah. that's interesting. But bees can come back to life after they've been frozen. 
Wow. Yep. <laughs> um, a couple in Texas got attacked. Um, they said it was like out of a horror film. More than 30,000 bees swarmed them as they exercised their small horses. Um, the woman and one of the horses jumped into the pool. Uh, they said there were so many bees that the sky turned dark. Good Lord. They were That's what I was talking about. You looked up and they were just, I mean. Yeah. It was not. It killed the horse. The horse suffered a fate worse. The first horse died before help arrived. The second died hours later. Uh, five hens also died. Um, wow. Uh, this came after a 60 year old Texas man died. He was attacked by 40,000 killer bees. Yeah, you just don't know what's going to trigger them. Yeah. Because, like, four people could mow their lawn that day, and nothing will happen. But one guy will just all of a sudden just, you know, turn on his mower, and boom, they're all attacking him. Wow, that is, that's just, 40, can you imagine being attacked by 40,000 bees? That is, that is, um, that is amazing. Wow. Because a whole colony yeah, attacks you. It's not just one. Well, wow. that's why I think that, you know, that, that definitely needs to be mentioned. Because, yes. Because, you know, that to me, that, that that is an animal. Yeah. Wow. Oh. And the, yeah, and the, they, they breed so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. You lose animals over that. Wow. Yeah, they're, actually, they're, they're starting to move further north, too. Yes, yeah, because the winters are getting so mild. And they'll yeah. they'll move, you know, into those areas then. The more, the warmer it gets. Wow. That's, that's really, that's insane is what it is. That's insane. So you're, you're, you're good where you live because they can't survive the winters. So. No way. No way. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, I can't even imagine like the sky going dark like that. That many bees. Yeah. Well, I told you that day. I looked down and I was like, "What is that?" I thought it was like bugs, but I was like, "I kind of looked at this. What is it?" Wow. And I looked up and it was like just went like seriously. This was like the, this giant army of bees just flying over us. Ooh, dang! It gives me I got goosebumps thinking about that. Wow. That's just insane. But, yeah, and it was a flea market, and they were, like, playing music and stuff, so I'm wondering if the bees weren't attracted to that sound. They could have been I mean, aggravated. They didn't come down, but who knows where they ended up. They could have been aggravated by yeah. that. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, guys, be careful. Wow. There's really, the, the, other, than, other than not making noise and avoiding certain bees. There's really not much you can do once they start attacking like that way. He did go in the pool, try to get indoors, anything you can do to get away from them. That's basically your only defense. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Because if well, not... If, be, there's just there's nothing you're going to do. That's There's just too know? many of them. Yeah. Yeah, so, wow. Like, well, like I said, with, you know, you go in the pool, you... Go inside, go into a car, whatever you have to do to get away from them. Absolutely. And if you come across a hive or something, call a professional. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Oh, you know, yes. And teach your kids. Absolutely. Yes. Not be poking it with sticks. Yes. It's not like when I was a kid, everything was honeybees. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Your child could die. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Wow. That's just scary. Yeah. And these were intentionally made. So there you go. Wow. That's just even worse. Mm 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 mm. <laughs> it's like, the, like, like you said, like a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Um, watch. They can live in containers, empty boxes. Um, older vehicles, if a car's been sitting for a while, uh, trees, underground and outside of buildings, you know, just where you, uh, a hive you think would be. So uh, make sure you check before you, um, you know, uh, you know, go poke.